Hey everyone, I'm Alex and today we're going to talk about AI. Everywhere you turn, everybody's telling you that the industry has changed. There are people who are telling you that you've got maybe a, a year or two at best uh, more working as a software engineer. There are parents who are asking people online if it's even worth their children to go study software engineering at all, uh, if, if this field is going away. And today I wanted to, uh, like, I wanted to tell you that things are not so bad things are going to be okay the industry is changing but the software field as a whole is not going anywhere if you had asked me like in 2020 whether they would be like an automated tool that could write the, the code that we're creating i i would be extremely doubtful about it uh, but the reality is that there is and ai is writing code faster it's writing better code than most engineers i personally know and it, it, it's a tool that we're all going to use um, but I want to give a more level-headed explanation about where the industry is going because everything right now is driven solely by, hi by hype, fear, and uh, marketing budgets. It's time to debunk some myths. Now, f the first thing that I want to talk about is like, let's start from the beginning. Is it worth, is it, worth it to study software engineering at all? Many people are saying that um, you should go study something different, that this field is going to be dead in like a few years and that AI is going to be writing most of our work and there are going to be, there's going to be two people like who are maintaining the systems or something like that. Um, but I want to take a step back. Now, the, when you see our world, do you imagine a world in the future where we're not relying on software? Do you see a world where we're not, where we stop building software? Because I only imagine that with AI, we're going to build more and more of that. Like we're going to be building more systems, more applications, more software products, because it's going to be easier to do so. And someone will have to build, extend, modify, and manage all those systems that we create. We're going to be able to create more complex systems. And this means that they're going to, there's going to be a need for people who can understand these com complex systems and make technical decisions. Like software engineering, it doesn't equal writing code. Like engineering can, you know, there are many branches of it. Like uh, aviation engineering, mechanical engineering, or electrical engineering. But in general, the idea of engineering is that you're solving problems and you're building things. And we're going to have to continue building things and solving problems regardless of how we, uh, like, regardless of how we do this. Uh, because if you go back, like in the 60s, we, like software engineers back then, used to, you know, uh, use punch cards, you know, to create programs. We don't do this anymore, but we still build software. We just use code as a tool. And the same way that we get higher and higher level languages that abstract away some of the like memory management problems, for example, we get new tools that allow us to build software at a higher level of, uh, of abstraction. But we are going to need people who are able to make technical decisions and who can reason about systems and who can, who can do trade-offs. Because if you tell an AI, I want a product that, that does this, what you're getting are like a product built with the system default settings of that, uh, of, 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 of that AI. But there can be specifics about the domain, about the system and about the product that you're building that can um, like make you pick one technology over another. They can pick you. They can make you pick one approach over another. And you need to be able to to take these things into account to tell the AI that uh, so, so it can create it. Because the AI can like write anything, uh, but you need it needs someone with an under with a technical understanding to drive it. Um, and I believe that in the future, the people who can who are going to be able to take the most advantage out of AI are technical people. You can understand the domain of a company and like uh, or, or like a field, but the strong foundation of being able to dissect the problem into different pieces, identify edge cases, and solve a problem in a logical way, like build an, 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 an algorithm, these are essential skills that take years to develop. And I truly believe that it's worth it to invest your time in these. Well, nowadays we still study math because this is a, like as a discipline, math helps with our logical thinking. Uh, we don't study it because like you're going to have to go do like uh, vectors and linear algebra somewhere by hand. Uh, no, you're going to use a calculator. You're going to use like some software to do the calculations for you. But you need to have like the understanding and the uh, like the the intuition and the logic developed in your mind about what you need to build. We are never going to live in a world where people who are good at logic and who are good at problem solving are not needed. We're always going to need such people. And I believe that engineering and software engineering in general 
is a good foundational discipline regardless of how this of, of how this this field changes like as an industry we've been automating fields for i don't know how many decades now and it's only natural that the like the next field that improves becomes ours like we've been telling people you need to get better skills because the systems can do this for you and now we need to develop our skills and we need to go through an evolution of what software engineering is. I think that uh, this is perfectly fine because it's going to equip us to build more, to build quickly and to build more complex things. The big misunderstanding about this is because we like for a long time, we thought that our job was to write code. But the same way that, you know, in engineers in the past, their job wasn't to punch holes in the card. They, they had to solve problems. And our job is not to put code in the ID. Our job is to solve problems and build things. And I think that we will have to uh, we will have to go through an educational revolution as well because, um, like for a long time, we had uh, boot camps, you know, places that uh, they don't focus on giving you the like the strong uh, engineering foundation that is going to help you become like a well-rounded software engineer who can then move into different uh, into different fields and work in different er areas of the stack. Like boot camps focused on giving you one specific field, uh, one specific skill set that you can then apply like in, in, in a company directly. Like you go to a boot camp, you become a React developer, you, uh, a React developer, you understand React and you go work with React. And then if you if you want to do something different, you go take a course about that technology or about that language uh, and you go and you go do that. I think that uh, fundamental knowledge and fundamental uh, understanding of engineering patterns and principles is going to be even more important like the one thing about all the hype that is true is that i think new joiners are going to have a rough time coming in right now because it's going to be hard for you to to join a company and start creating some value straight out of a boot camp you're going to need some more solid education you know because th things are things are moving really fast and i can take like full advantage of the like i can take full advantage of ai because i have like a decade of experience and of trial and error and problems that I faced. And I know, I know how uh, I like to build software. I know the, the patterns that, that work. I know what technologies to apply in what moment. But uh, like if you don't have that foundational intuition built in, um, I, I'm not sure what the best way to introduce new people in the industry will be. We will absolutely need new people because we're going to be writing a lot. We're going to be building a lot more software. But I don't know what would be the best way to introduce them to building software in like a corporate or a business setting. And again, if I can go to boot camps, um, boot camps or like boot camps were developed because our industry had like a typing problem. We needed a lot of people to be able to type code into the ID so companies can grow typing code now is becoming a solved problem so what i'm what i'm trying to say here it's, it's been difficult to come to to come to this is that you have to grow like if you're a, a, like a developer right now you have to grow beyond like being just a typist like the, the person who is you know solving the same the same trivial problems you need to become an engineer you need to become like a, a, a thinker, a problem solver. So I, I think I'm going to wrap it up with a, Drace, with a Drayton Bird quote that I once heard uh, at a conference. Nothing is as good or as bad as people say it is. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.